For Thanksgiving, we are going to eat the Marvel Universe. Courtesy of our special guest from Chopped, Emily Chapman. On Thrip! The Big Marvel Show! I'm Lorraine. I'm Ryan. And this is Thwip, the Big Marvel Show, where we talk about all things Marvel. Yeah, and Thanksgiving is this week. It's time for us to chow down. I can't wait for Thanksgiving dinner, but mm. who in the Marvel Universe do you think would be the best chef? Ooh, uh, Silver Surfer. Because he was the herald of Galactus, and he's like, oh, I gotta find food for my boss. I'm gonna cook it. Oh, yeah, he would be a great person to at least find a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what chefs do, right? Like, I'm a really good chef. That's called New York cooking. Uh, I would choose Squirrel Girl, because I love nuts, and she would find nuts. Yeah. Right? Just cook right. them up, dice them, and chop them, chopping them nuts. And it would be adorable. Um, yeah. It would break a lot of health codes, all the squirrels, but adorable. Yes. <laughs> All right, luckily we don't have to cook because we have a special guest chef here for a new installment of Eat the Universe. Now we are going to eat the universe with special guest chef Emily Chapman. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you. We always make our chefs sit in the back. That's the first thing that you guys should know about this show. So today Emily has prepared for us special Marvel inspired foods and we are going to guess what they are based on what they taste like. But you're a big Marvel fan, right? Huge Marvel fan. And so these are going to be super duper in-depth authentic, I bet. Yes. I, I tried my best. I mean, I hopefully I don't let you guys down. All right. <laughs> I'm going to put on my uh, blindfold. And what is our overall theme for Wait, said... blindfold for this? <laughs> <laughs> what is our overall theme for said uh, entrees, uh, appetizers, etc.? Uh, so I decided to go with an X-Men theme for your inspired Thanksgiving feast. I can't wait. Okay, let's try we, our first dish is an appetizer, right? Yes, it is. I don't know why I feel so worried eating something <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is. I mean, hopefully it's good. It is good. <laughs> Sweet potatoes? Uh, no. <laughs> it's soft and it's mushy. 15 seconds left. And, oh no. Mm. Corn? Delicious. Closer. And it's based on a what? A character? Yes, this is based on one specific character from X Men. Okay. Um, it's not Beast. I've got it. Um, Stop. Oh no. Make a guess. Banshee. No. Um, oh wait. Um, uh, <laughs> Nightcrawler. <laughs> nope. Uh, okay, that's it. Take your vines off and look at it. But I want to keep eating it. <laughs> and then, Ooh. Can explain what it is, Emily. Okay, so this is a smoked poached egg with charred Brussels sprouts and yellow grits with a cranberry gastrique. So what this represents is the character of Phoenix. Oh. Mm. Yeah, because it's got a little I didn't egg. Taste it. Yeah, it's a egg, <laughs> cosmic flame from the char and the smoke, <laughs> and then yellow and the green and the yeah. red to represent her actual. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, really, I didn't know really... that you were going to be blindfolded, but. <laughs> 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 I tried to help you out. Mm. Mm, this is really good. Okay. It definitely tastes like um, a really angry space god. <laughs> mm. All right. On to the main yeah. course. So for your next course, this is a villainous entree. Oh. There's four <laughs> components on the plate, this and that means there's four characters that are getting represented here. So if you, you guess what it is, <laughs> I can help you out. Wait, this is four <laughs> villains. Four villains. <laughs> and they work together? Uh, well, some of them have some affiliations with one another, but... They're all equally as bad. Mystique, because I don't know what it looks like. You got you got one. Mystique is pickled blueberries on the plate. Mm. Blueberries. Blueberries. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the other there's another component on there's the plate that there's mm. there's Twenty seconds left. there's green on the plate. If anybody um, wants to use ooh, toad. Uh, yep. There oh, you go. Oh oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, now the spice inside the stuffing is from Jordan, so it's an aquaba spice. What mm. villain is from the Middle East? Ooh. East. One of the oldest villains of all time, literally. Sebastian Shaw? <laughs> Apocalypse. There you go. Ah! Ah! Hey. Oh. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. One last one. One last one. And then uh, the turkey is not turkey. It's made out of tofu. So the tofu is pretending that it's something that it's not, which means it's shape-shifted. Who shape-shifts? Mystique. Wait, and no. It's, and? Affiliated with Apocalypse. Who did Apocalypse create? Uh, uh, sinister. Yes. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I win all the food. <laughs> Yay. Wait, can I look at the 
Oh. I'll still eat Wow, Ryan, you made a lot of your food. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really friggin' good. <laughs> Our next course, please. <laughs> what? No, I gotta eat. <laughs> so with dessert, I wanted to represent a X-Men oh. famous couple. Hopefully you guys will be able to <laughs> figure this out. I felt crunchy. I wanted to know. Ch chocolate? Yes, there is chocolate on the plate. An ex, a famous ex couple. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm getting food in here. There you go. I don't, I don't think. Gambit and Rogue. There you yeah. go. Oh. Uh, it's like, was, I didn't so even wait, get wait, to is taste it. Like, it. Is it <laughs> there's a pie, so I assume it's Rogue. Uh, or? Well, well, I haven't tasted it. What you're eating is a bourbon pecan pie. Well, I'm just going to with <laughs> with, with, <laughs> with chicory caramel and Mississippi mudslide ice okay. cream. That makes a lot. Oh. Yeah. So. Where'd it go? Um, I feel like this is definitely a dessert based on a couple because I'm in love. <laughs> awesome. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh. I'm glad you guys got that one right away. That's awesome. Yeah. Well... I because I, I just read um, an old X Men issue where Rogue had made a pie for Gambit and they were having a picnic and then Bishop comes in and they all start fighting and then she gets hit in the face with a pie. <laughs> and it was great. Um, well, mm. we're gonna finish this dessert, but Emily, where can people find you and your awesome food creations? Uh, so I'm the executive sous chef at a restaurant called Pasquale Jones. Located, Pasquale Jones! <laughs> located on 86 Kentmare Street. There you go. You guys, go check out Emily Chapman and her restaurant and stay here for social hour. We'll be back in just a sec. I'm going to eat this whole thing. Now we're going to take your tweets and your yub tub comments when you hashtag them Marvel to have what's on the internet. All right. Marvel Man on the YouTube says, I would have Spider-Man. He would be great for a food fight. Sure to have a spin on it. What? He'd be like, thwip, 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 thwip. And then your mom would be so mad. Yeah, because no one's going to eat that with all that... Web but wall goo. Yeah. Uh, Just Jen on Twitter <laughs> says, What Marvel hero would I invite to Thanksgiving? She says, Wolverine, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. I feel like he's kind of grouchy, though. Uh, yeah, so it'd definitely be a Thanksgiving. There's a lot of oh, yeah. argument, <laughs> there's food, there's the one guy in the corner, you're like, Ooh, don't talk to him. <laughs> and that would be Wolverine, yeah. but he would be so good at carving. <laughs> Like, just like that. Just like that. <laughs> you guys, tell us if you're going to make any Marvel-inspired creations for Thanksgiving. And if you do, hashtag them with Marvel Thip or leave us a Yub Tub comment down below. And that's it. That's I'm it. Lorraine. I'm Ryan. And this is Marvel. Your Thanksgiving. If you like this, please like this. Subscribe. Watch our last episode. All of it. Where are you pointing? Where are you pointing? Down below so they can watch these other videos. Oh, good. <laughs> Are we using these for something? Or just yes. decoration? We're going to use them for the eating. Okay. I only eat blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs>